valve therapy has really had a revolution in the last five to 10 years. Prior to that, all we had was open heart surgery or balloon therapies. Now we have catheter replacement and catheter repair. I'm uh, Charles Davidson, Medical Director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern Medicine. I practice in Chicago, Illinois. I've been in practice for about 25 years. I was interested in valve therapy from when I was a cardiology fellow at Duke University. It's been a really exciting area because we really can change people's lives with catheter-based therapies rather than open heart surgery. What's nice about catheter-based procedures is they can be done with light anesthesia, or with general anesthesia, but don't require heart-lung machines, don't require opening the chest, and have a much faster recovery, and in some cases have shown to improve both death results and stroke results that can occur with open heart surgery. Patients are generally out of the hospital within a day to two to three after their procedures. It's a fast recovery. The tricuspid valve, often called the forgotten valve, connects the top and bottom of the heart on the right side of the heart. So it regulates blood flow primarily out to the lungs, which then deliver blood back to the rest of the heart and then out to the rest of the body. That valve can often develop leaking in it. What this causes is patients to feel symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue, swelling in their legs or swelling in their belly. Up till now, people thought that that valve really didn't serve a major function and that if you had a problem with it, medications were fine. What we found out though is if you have a severe leak in that valve, that your prognosis looks like some of the other valves when they are severely leaking or blocked up. The risk of not treating tricuspid valve is death. About 60% of patients with severe leaking will die within three years without treatment. The dilemma with tricuspid valve disease is that it's often discovered late in the course of the disease and patients often have other problems going on at that point in time. If they're referred to surgery, the mortality rate is approximately 10% at 30 days and major morbidity is close to 50% in that population. So because we've waited so long to refer these patients, they are not good candidates for open heart surgery and therefore medical therapy has been the only treatment for them. There's extreme enthusiasm right now for catheter-based treatments of tricuspid disease. Because surgery has had mixed results and late referrals, what we're looking at now is a less invasive approach to these patients to help with the medical therapy. And what we've now found is you can do repairs to these valves, and in some cases replacement, from a catheter that may have the benefit of surgery without undergoing open heart surgery. We are in the early stages of learning about catheter-based treatments for tricuspid valve disease. But what we have seen is a signal that there's a high safety with these procedures and that patients feel better after these procedures. So the clinical trials that will define whether tricuspid valve therapies are a benefit to the patients are just starting up right now. What we're looking at are various repair technologies. Can we take the area around the valve and contract it? to make the valve work better? Can we place clips within the valve to help the valve also close better? Should we be placing a new valve in there? There are many technologies that are under investigation. The future of, of tricuspid valve therapy will be defined primarily on what we find in these early clinical trials. What we really need to prove is that tricuspid valve therapy, catheter-based, can either improve quality of life or improve mortality. And those are the studies we need to get at. Also, what we also need to understand is treating people earlier in the course of the disease. We learned this with mitral valve disease, that if you waited too long until patients developed symptoms, you were not going to get those people well again. I think we're learning the same thing with tricuspid valve disease. Treat them earlier and they'll have a better outcome.